Hey there, friends and fam. Cold Case Cause here. And we're out here at my place that I just purchased, 10 acres. I built me a cabin over there, you see it? I'm standing over here behind this tree so I don't, so because it's a windy day. But I just want to say I apologize for being distant and not making a follow-up video to the Ian O'Brien case. Um, Ian was found September 2nd uh, in the West Mancus River, as I predicted, um, by fishermen. So uh, fishermen uh, found his remains, uh, pulled him up out of the river, and then went and called the authorities who recovered Ian's body. Hallelujah. Blessings to God. So um, I'm super happy that Ian was returned. His remains were found and his family can have closure. Um, that being said, I, I have, I've been a little bummed out lately because me and the dogs, we put in so much work uh, on that. And uh, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> you guys are not going to believe this, but literally the area where he was found was next up on our list of areas to search. So we were coming down the river and we cleared the whole upper part. We were working down and where he was found was literally where right past where we just stopped. So we were this close to uh, a big recovery, but that's how the ball bounces. Um, but I just want to let y'all know I've been real sick lately. I don't know if I got COVID or the flu or what, but uh, I've been laid up for the last two weeks. And even now I'm not feeling well, but I'm getting better. So um, that's why I sound weird. Um, but I just want to say blessings to all Ian's friends and family. And, um, I read the comments all you guys had posted about, uh, the searches we had done, the very kind comments. And, um, it, it uh, invigorated me to come out here and keep, get back in the, get back on the saddle and keep this thing going. So, um, I think I'm going to go back to the same area and look for David Lund and, uh, David Lund was actually a friend of mine. Well, not really a friend, but like a business acquaintance at the James Ranch. Um, I used to sell him firewood every winter. I used to cut firewood and I'd sell him oak and he'd use the oak to cook with there at the James Ranch restaurant. And um, I actually knew him pretty good, man. He was a cool dude and I would come to deliver wood and he'd help me stack it. And we'd chat, you know, and BS. And um, I haven't seen him, you know, in years since when he since when he, he went missing but um it's kind of a personal thing so uh i'm gonna pick up in la plata canyon that's gonna be our next search and we're gonna go hit the trail where david lund um supposedly took the trail up uh to up in the la plata mountains and um it would be the backside of where ian o'brien disappeared so it's the same mountain, Mount Hesperus, just on the other side. So it's a strange mountain because uh, there have been several deaths up there and disappearances. So um, fingers crossed, we're going to, I got to get the team back ready and uh, we're going to hit it hard here coming up soon because the snow's coming quick and uh, supposedly we're supposed to get an early winter this year. So um, I just want to thank y'all again, man. I got... I haven't checked my comments in so long. I've just been so bummed out and sick and just, man, when I, I mean, when I uh, heard that, uh, Ian O'Brien was found, I was so happy, but it was like melancholy. I was super happy, but I was so bummed out because we had worked so hard. Me and the dogs put in so many hours and, uh, we were that close to, to our biggest recovery ever. I knew I was going to find him and, uh, some fishermen found him, but regardless, he's been found. Okay. So I, I take that, you know, um, I wear my heart on my sleeve when it comes to that. And uh, I'm just glad he was returned. So blessings to all Ian's friends and family. And I get a little emotional because uh, I get so emotionally invested with the work and the dogs and the cases and stuff. And, uh, you know, I talk to the missing people when I'm out there. I ask, hey, Ian, show me where you're at, brother. He gives me goosebumps. Look, you can see I got goosebumps. I say, I talk to the, to the missing and I say, show me, reveal yourself to me so I can return you to your family. So, um, but anyhow, you know, life bounces around and, uh, it's been a little tough lately on me and, um, but I'm getting my daughter this weekend and, uh, it was her birthday and you can check my page. I got her a little puppy for her birthday and it was the sweetest, uh, 
reaction she had. She burst into tears and, and that's on my short. So you can go check my short videos and see that. It's the most heartwarming video ever. And um, I've just been uh, <clears throat> getting my wheels going again and feeling good. And uh, I want to get back out there in the woods and try to bring closure to David Lund's family since it's a personal thing. So, and after that, there was another fellow that just went missing actually on September 2nd when Ian O'Brien was found, another hunter went disappeared west of Purgatory. So he disappeared on the second, and there was a, a La Plata County search for him. A um, hundred hunter volunteers came out and cleared an area, but again, there was only a couple few days of search put into it, you know. So that's not very much. Like with Ian O'Brien, there was four days of searching, you know, from the SAR and the sheriffs and stuff. So nothing against those guys those guys work hard they just have a, such a full plate and limited resources so you know shout out to la plata county sheriff and montezuma sheriffs and uh the, all the search and rescue teams around there um but <clears throat> sorry man i'm still sick i've been coughing I, i'm pretty sure i either got COVID or the flu but um thank y'all so much for watching just a few comments this morning that i read i said i need to read the comments and get back to people and it, I mean, I read it and I was in tears because of all your kind comments. And I, and it just it, it invigorated me today. And I'm feeling better and we're going to hit this trail soon. So uh, I've been so busy because I've been working on this cabin right here. I bought this property out here and I, that cabin, I've been working so hard on it. Then I got sick, but uh, I've moved in the cabin and uh, I built bunk beds in there for me and my daughter. My dogs are all hanging out. And, um, but, uh, it really feels like home out here. And one of the things that's probably making me sick is this is sagebrush and it is blooming like crazy and it smells amazing, but guess what? It causes hay fever. And, uh, I think it's a combination of being sick, but look at these beautiful blooms on here. It smells amazing out here, but the smell is actually causes wicked hay fever if you have allergies. So uh, there's my snowmobile getting ready for winter. We're out here right on the border of Colorado and New Mexico. Literally, New Mexico is like five miles that way, south. And north is the La Plata Mountains. Straight that way, you can't see it through the trees. But that is the La Plata Mountains where Ian disappeared and David Lund disappeared. So I'm literally like a 20-minute drive from 30-minute drive to the La Platas, which is shocking. So it's like I feel... This is my calling. I need to get up there and uh, try to find Mr. Lund. So he was a good, really good guy. He had a lot of friends and family. So I think that's going to be next on the list, given my health can get better. I don't want to hike way up in the mountains and, you know, get stranded somewhere. I got to be tip top health. So, but everything's getting better. And uh, I just want to show you all the country out here. It's beautiful. This is we're up on a table mesa this is actually considered red mesa colorado and it's right outside of marvel colorado and it's south of hesperus colorado and um it's beautiful out here it's incredibly quiet um the elk have been bugling like crazy and um fall is in the air but shoot today it's 80 degrees out here so it's warm but at night it gets down to like the 30s so, um, really cool area because it's the only place in the United States where the jutting mountain peaks way off in the distance meet these flat table mesas. So it's the masculine features of the jutting peaks meet the feminine features of the table mesas in happy harmony. And it's the only place in the U.S. that does this. So I feel I'm in a special place here. And uh, thanks to all y'all again, and uh, stay tuned, because one of these days we're going to get a big recovery. Uh, put a lot of time into this channel um, searching for folks, and I, we re located some remains in the very beginning years ago, but we're due for a recovery. So we're going to get back in the saddle and keep at it, and I got to hustle up some money, and um, we're going to get cracking for Mr. Lund. So blessings to all y'all from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you guys. God bless. And uh, say a little prayer for all the missing. And uh, if you guys know of any cases around the U.S., I'll travel um, 
to try to help find lost people. So I'd like to do this for a living. Um, hopefully once I get up to a thousand subscribers, YouTube will kick in with the monetary and uh, we can get this thing rolling. But right now everything's out of pocket. I'm a volunteer firefighter, search and rescue. And so a lot of my time goes to volunteering. So, but hopefully one of these days we'll get enough hustled up to where we can do solid searches all the time. I would like that, that for that to be my life is to search nonstop for folks and try to bring closure. So I know I've been rambling, but I just want to say thanks again for stopping by. Please like and subscribe. Um, that's the only way I can get this like this thing up off the ground where I can uh, get it monetized and have a little help. But uh, God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day. And if you could think of anything that would help me out in the comments or any uh, requests or um, anything that might you think might help out the channel or things I'm doing wrong, you know, I'm, I'm all ears and uh, I got tough skin, so you can be honest. And um, I'm with limited resources, but if I can improve in any way, please let me know. So, show you my cabin one more time. You have a blessed day, guys.